Hey gang, Ronan here. As you can see in this game, I am playing the Tier 10 Pan-European Destroyer Holland. Uh, I have been, uh, for those of you who have been following this channel, conspicuously absent for a while. And uh, I probably, for at least a little while, probably another month or two, will continue to be pretty spotty. Um, uh, this was a decent game that I played some time ago, um, but I, <laughs> there won't be a whole lot of commentary on it, at least initially, because I kind of want to explain where I've been and kind of where things are right now. Um, my wife was diagnosed with a very, very ugly thing in March of 2021. She'd been ill for some time before that. It took a little while to figure out what was going on. And after an 11 month, truly heroic struggle, I lost my wife on February 4th of 2022. Obviously, my whole world was shattered, and there's really no sugarcoating that. There are uh, a lot of things that have to be seen to, of course, just in a practical, pragmatic sense. But, you know, the reality is that the person that I essentially shared every important decision in my life with for 25 years and was around every day, most of the day, because uh, we shared not only a home but a professional life, um, was gone. So I've been dealing with that. I've been dealing with the loss. I've been dealing with the, the horrible fact that I'm never going to see her again. And I'm sure those of you who have lost people know exactly what I'm talking about. In addition to that, there are a couple of businesses that a lot of things have had to be done with and for uh, since her passing. To, to put it mildly, there has been a whole lot that has to be done in addition to the emotional and psychological fact that I lost my wife to a horrible disease. Um, so there have been you know, some really wonderful guys in ICOP who have been kind of keeping things going there uh, with regards to World of Warships. And then there's a super group of um, what I call old-timey ICOPs that are on Mumble all the time, playing different games. So it's not that ICOP disappeared, it's only that I was, like I said, conspicuously absent for a while and probably won't be back on a daily basis for some time. But I did want to at least offer some kind of explanation for where I've been and, and why I haven't been around much rather than just uh, not being here. You may have noticed that uh, someone else did post a video on uh, the ICOP page and I'm grateful for that. Um, and I hope they'll continue doing that. In fact, there are a couple of ICOPs that I think are uh, capable of putting out good videos. So. Maybe you'll see some other guys posting here as well. Especially, I hope that in the short term, while I'm going to be handling other things. Uh, for example, uh, <laughs> uh, the last couple days, I have uh, essentially moved the 1,500 to 1,700 square foot office uh, that I've been in for a really, really long time. And so it's about, about like move, moving a household. Uh, so very time consuming. And then there are all the things associated with that, you know, utilities, phones. It, those of you over the age of about 18 um, will probably have some appreciation. The older you are, the probably the more appreciation you'll have for the amount of time something like that takes. And for those of you who are young or have never had to do anything like that, um, Essentially, it's I'm spending a lot of time on the phone. I'm spending a lot of time waiting uh, for people to do things that need to be done. And everything, everything takes longer than it's supposed to. For example, I made some changes to some phone lines uh, for the businesses. And something that was supposed to take 24 hours ended up taking five days. So 
all, all of that is just my way of trying to explain to you kind of where I've been and why. Um, I would love nothing more than for my life to have continued to sail happily along on the trajectory that it was on, because that would mean my wife was still with me. But uh, I don't get to make the rules, and you know this is the situation I find myself in. So really, I'm just I'm doing the best that I can with what I consider a horrible situation, and I really appreciate uh, all of you supporting me as I go through this. Those of you who have lost people before, you know, it's, uh, you know, of course it's heartbreaking, but it's it's very stressful in, in a lot of different ways. And I, I, I really sincerely appreciate your support. Uh, <laughs> while some of you may, I, I hope nobody will feel compelled to, to say things here, uh, you know, on this page or on this video. Uh, that's not why I'm telling you these things. I just, you know, I've got, there are a fair number of you who have been following me and some of you have been following me now for quite a while. And I'm really grateful for that. And I feel like I owe it to you to kind of give you some explanation for where I've been. And that uh, I love doing this. I really do. I, I love doing this. Putting these videos together, kind of dissecting games, trying to offer tips for people who maybe are new to the game or who just have never really been a student of the game. I get a lot of joy and personal satisfaction from doing this. So please know that it's something that I intend to continue. Uh, once I get on the other side of everything that's going on with me right now, uh, I will return to doing this on a regular basis. And I continue to invite people to send in videos if you have replays that you'd like to see. This was extremely satisfying when I was playing this game. <laughs> yeah, uh, landing six torpedoes on the Yoshino uh, was just, oh man, that felt great. Anyway, um, so, so that's what's been going on. Now, as of today, we're dealing with... Uh, War in Eastern Europe, I guess you could say. Um, I know that there are probably people who will disagree with that. But specifically, Russia has attacked uh, Ukraine. You know, we go back to 2014, and there was uh, what happened with Crimea, and, and now there's this. Now, without getting too far into the weeds of the politics behind it or the geopolitics behind it, I'll just say that uh, there have been some people in ICOP who are, I think, understandably uh, upset about it. Uh, I'm pretty upset about it myself. You know, the idea of war anywhere in the world is uh, a terrible prospect. War in this area of the world that could so easily uh, ignite into just a terrible tinderbox that just grows and expands is especially frightening. Uh, but with regards to how that's impacted ICOP, there are a couple of ICOPs that have, uh, for their own reasons, decided that they don't want anything more to do with wargaming as a result of what's happening in Ukraine right now. Now, my personal take on it is that um, wargaming got their start in Minsk, which is uh, in Belarus. And while I guess it could be argued that Belarus is uh, at least on decent terms with Russia, it's not Russia. And I have to say that I can kind of understand being on decent terms with Russia when you border them. Uh, much like I would say it's understandable that uh, countries that border any other country would try to be friendly with that country. I'll, I'll state again, I'm not trying to get into politics. I'm just speaking in very broad terms uh, with as wide a brush as I possibly can to say that um, I, I don't know how you feel about what's going on or whether it affects your game or your experience of the game or enjoyment of the game in any way. Um, I'm myself personally, I'm not too terribly worried about a, a 
a, co a company that started in Belarus, a gaming company that started in Belarus, that's currently headquartered in Cyprus. Which, if you're if you're familiar with where that's at, great. If you're not, I'll tell you, it's it's actually that's south of Turkey. Um, that's where they're headquartered. But you know, they have offices all over the world, and I won't claim to know what the real situation is with any gaming company, let alone war gaming. I'll just say that I'm not terribly worried about whether uh, some of the things that I've seen are that, you know, maybe there's spyware or whatever. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Maybe I'm naive. You know, maybe you are worried about it and you have something that you can tell me in the comments below that, you know, would make me more aware of what's really going on. I, again, I don't claim to know all the answers. I can only tell you, yeah, this was also a very satisfying part of the game right here. Uh, I can only tell you how I feel right now in the moment and keep in mind that, you know, I'm dealing with uh, quite a bit in, you know, my personal life on top of worrying about whether there's going to be an expanding war and whether the, my son might get dragged into it. So I've touched on what's going on with me personally. I've touched on the fact that what's going on in Ukraine has led uh, several ICOPs to step away from the game. Maybe they'll come back. I hope they will. Um, so I would love to hear your comments or feedback about uh, either what's going on with me or with what's going on in Ukraine. If you do comment about what's going on in Ukraine, I will ask you to be uh, respectful and polite. I really don't want to pick up any strikes here from YouTube about this. But it's the fact that uh, Wargaming got to start in Belarus uh, and, you know, has historically been considered kind of a Russian-leaning, if not Russian, company, despite the fact that they're headquartered in Cyprus, has led some, uh, I mean, there are some in ICOP and there are others that I've interacted with, and maybe you, to uh, have very strong feelings on the issue. So I, I'd love to know kind of wh where you stand on that as well. Again if you can do so in a way that won't cause me to get YouTube angry with me. Uh, I would really appreciate not having to handle that. Now, to the game. Um, this game looks fairly well in hand. I'm a little concerned about our Yamato. You can see the Stalingrad there. He's pinging. I, I'm aware. I mean, I know that there's a, a, a gearing in his Z52 there. I can't get so close that I can't get away. I'm already pretty near that right now. So I put torpedoes in the water knowing that there's probably going to be a hydro, but I'm close enough now that I'll see the hydro when he pops it. And I need to create some space between me and him. There's the hydro. And now I'm just going to try and run out of the hydro. Gearing is not shooting right now, and that'll allow him to stay hidden. And as soon as he goes dark... Okay, now I've gone dark. So he's not going to shoot again. He's going to, I think, run for Charlie. Now both of them are within radar range of our Stalingrad. And maybe our Stalingrad thought that I should have just pushed in there, but... Really, both of those ships outgun the Holland. Holland has good reload, but against the gearing and a Z-52, let's just say that would not go well. Now, maybe you've been paying attention. Our gearing does take out the Gudenlu. Our Salem has been AFK the entire game. And I'm just waiting for my torps to come back up. And I'm going to cross into. I'm going to cross these torps into C. I'm going to get one out here uh, in case the. There we go. So that's that's for whoever ran for C, which was probably the gearing, maybe the Z-52. And if the Z-52 waited a little bit before he took off, that second set is for him. Now the gearing gets detected, but I think that's I think he's detected because he got too close to the Stalingrad. I don't think that's a radar. So gearing is here, and that tells me if I get a hit at Charlie on anything, that that's the Z-52. I'm hoping if I'm going to hit him, I do it before he gets the cap, but that's not going to happen. He's got the cap. 
And now I'm going to be able to open up on the gearing. I do land a torque on the Z52. Unless, unless there's something else in there. Now this gearing, he's in big trouble. He's got myself and the Stalingrad putting the shells on him, and he's about to get sunk. He's decided he'd rather shoot me than the Stalingrad. Probably a good choice, but he's 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 gone. You can see all of his torpedoes went at the Stalingrad. Now I was really hoping that the Stalingrad was going to stop here and secure this cap. I mean, we got the game pretty well in hand anyway, but. I, I mean, you. If you've watched my videos any length of time, you've probably heard me talk about the the juicy, juicy cap experience points that you can pick up. And he's just in prime position to be able to do that. He's already got three quarters of the cap turned. But he runs right out of the cap. Okay. Well, I think he left some XP on the table, but that's just me. So we got another gearing and a Z-52, and we have a five ships to two advantage. We're about to have uh, the same number of cap circles, so this is looking pretty good for us, despite the fact that Salem is completely AFK. And I think one of those destroyers is probably going to spot him any second, and as soon as they do, they're going to put torpedoes in his face. You can see me ask there, well, you know, why did you not finish that cap? Maybe would have been another 10 seconds. Anyway, this game's pretty well in the bag. Um, it, it's not what I would call a stellar game. I mean, 122, 123,000 damage. That's not bad. Landed 15 torpedoes. Uh, put some shells on target. Picked up a cap. A, a, a good game. Um, you know, I'm happy with it. I, it was it was fun to play, and I enjoy, and I enjoy, I enjoy this ship a lot. Um, I have another game that I'm hoping to get to here before too much longer where I'm really going to just just do a recap of the game without talk about what's going on with me, at least not much, uh, or what's going on in Ukraine. But uh, I did want to say hello, tell you all that I, I really appreciate you very much. I appreciate the fact that you've uh, subscribed to my channel and that you enjoy my videos and know that uh, I'm always happy to hear your suggestions. I love reading your comments. Uh, that that's a really great feeling when I get some interaction here. So th those of you that have in the past, thank you very much. And those of you that plan to in the future, I really appreciate that. Now, this game's going to be over here very, very soon. So I'm going to say right now, thanks a million. And I'll see you next time.